Hi, everybody. Um, so my name is Arthi Walker Padakotla. I am a product manager at Hypothesis, and I'm, I, most of you know what Hypothesis is, but for those that are new, and we have fairly, uh, a fairly large part of the audience that is new, I'm just gonna walk through what Hypothesis is and what we do. Um, Hypothesis is a nonprofit founded by Dan Willey, the guy in the white shirt over there, uh, <laughs> that works on building annotation for the web. And we are an open source nonprofit company because we believe that annotation should be built in a sustainable way and long-term way. Our vision for Hypothesis is to bring open interoperable layers of conversation over the web. Um, this is the vision that has always driven the company, everything that we do. Uh, gets back to the community in some way, shape, or form, um, because we really want to make sure that this is around for the long term. So when we started out uh, building Hypothesis, and I've only been with the team for two years, so a lot of this is Dan's early vision, um, we started out building uh, the tool in a way that we envisioned these layers of annotation communities being created over the content that's being published on the web. And so you can imagine a general public layer of just annotations made by anybody that's reading that content on the web. You can imagine somebody's science class commenting in the classroom. You can even imagine an expert layer where the editors or the authors of those papers are commenting. And these layers just enhance the content that's already being published on the web. What we envision with these layers is that they're built on open standards, but that the people that are creating these layers are ultimately the owner of the layers. And they can own uh, not just how the layers run, so whether they are run in an open way, in a private way, but they can also own the annotations that are made on the layers. And so those annotations could either be hosted, sorry, hosted by Hypothesis. Um, so you could use our servers uh, to create your own annotation communities, or those layers could be hosted by somebody else, the publishers writ large. Um, and today you can do this, uh, and we have some publishers that are going to be doing this in the future. So I would just wanna walk through really quickly, um, because I don't have a whole lot of time, uh, just two of the use cases that were that we're really building for at Hypothesis currently. When we built Hypothesis and really the evolution, we really focus on three major uh, verticals, um, use cases. And those three verticals are journalism, scholarly communication, and education. Um, scholarly communication and education is what I'm gonna really quickly walk through today. Um, but in each of these verticals, there are these deeper layers that we can get to of, of addressing the use cases um, and the workflows in each of these verticals by annotation. One of the things that we've been working on that, we've, uh, that we just recently released is the building of a new type of groups. So one of the consistent comments that we got was there's only one group that's currently available called a private group. And that private group is um, group member only readable, group member only writable annotations. And our communities and our publishers consistently ask for, can we have a way where we can create annotations that anybody in the world can read them, but only our group members can write them? Or can we have a way where we can create annotations that anybody can read them and anybody can write them, but I own that group? And what you're seeing here is the framework for the groups that we've recently released. These groups cannot be created uh, on our web interface, um, but you can talk to one of us at Hypothesis and we will create them for you because we're just trying them out and seeing what are, you know, how are people gonna use these and how is the general public gonna use them. Um, but just a framework for how the table is laid out, you see the name of the group at the top, open group, restricted group, and private group, which is currently available, and then what you can do with that group on um, the left, right-hand side. Um, so who can read the annotations made by group members, who can post to the group, who can join the group? Is that group a moderated group? All our groups have moderation available. And can that group be scoped to a website so that that group is actually showing up only on that website? Um, and so these groups have actually started to be um, used by some of our publishing partners. In one case, uh, we've got QDR, Qualitative Data Repository, or Cambridge and Cambridge Uni University Press in a partnership 
is using these groups to create world readable, group member writable only annotations. And you can look at the link here. So these slides, by the way, are available on the agenda. And so you can look at the link and actually get to um, one of those uh, pages that actually has annotations made by QDR. And this, the, what QDR and Cambridge University Press are doing are creating these annotations that build on top of the content that Cambridge Press is already publishing, and anybody can read them. You are also able to see all of the annotations that are made on the group's activity page. So if you want just one home to see all of the annotations that the group has created, you can view it on what we're calling group and user profile pages. And this is part of our web application that we released last year. eDrillner Press has started using these groups for peer review. So in the peer review process, um, the ability to create annotations that the authors can read and that um, the reviewers can write to only is something that we've actually seen really good success in, not with just with eJournal Plus, but with other uh, publishers as well. So what we want to do in the future is get deeper into the publishing workflow, where we integrate deeper into the peer review process, where it's more automated. Um, we want more publisher layers over content. We want uh, users to be able to authenticate into Hypothesis using their ORCID authentication. Um, we want to give publishers the ability to, to get notified when annotations are created on their site and exported, um, the ability for users to export those annotations freely. Just really briefly, because I know <laughs> Nate is staring me down. Um, in the education vertical, what our mission is in the education space is really to empower students to produce knowledge within and beyond the classroom and use that knowledge to promote intellectual conversation and civic engagement on the web. Jeremy Dean has done a really great job at Hypothesis in getting teachers and educators to use Hypothesis in the classroom, and we've seen really great success around it. We've got graduate students that are annotating scholarly journal articles, and teachers have found that the annotations made in the classroom are really engaging students in a different way than, has done, than what's currently available. So what we want to do in the education workspace, and this is part of our work that we're going to start working on very shortly here, is make it easier for teachers and students to actually use Hypothesis within the tool set that they're already using. And so a large part of the teaching population uses LMS systems like Canvas, Moodle, and Sakai. And what we want to do is create a seamless transition between the LMS system and Hypothesis so that teachers can assign reading assignments in the LMS, students can use Hypothesis without ever leaving the LMS. Um, so really get deeper into that workflow, make it a seamless experience so that there's automated group creation, automated membership into the group, and assessment of the annotation grading available in the LMS. So that's really what we're trying to do at a Hypothesis over the past year and the, in the coming year. And uh, I think all of you have met our team, but we have a really great team led by a pretty amazing guy over there. Um, and we're really nice people, so come and talk to us. Thank you so much. <laughs>